Uh, you are turning into Moose Gameplay and this is Watch Dogs. Continuing from... Not really where I last left, I didn't record the footage uh, of the... Great, that's time that I tomorrow. made my way here, so this is okay. Act 1 of Watch Dogs, the here first act. So yeah, enjoy. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, Whoa. five, six, Whoa. seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. <clears throat> Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... and yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his first birthday without Lena. Oh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Jax. Hey. S sorry I'm late. Now yeah. You wanna get out? Wow. You are big. <laughs> so, hey, what, what you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. <clears throat> you and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not gonna stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? All right, so I gotta join the party Last in the back. No, back in, head inside. It was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating oh. that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and mom were both sick as dogs, but dad insisted his boy was gonna have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination. All burnt and lopsided. That was dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Who is this? <laughs> you think blogging caller ID will hide you? Look at my face. Look at my face. <laughs> I don't know what's so entertaining, but the police won't find it very funny at all. I'm gonna give you some advice. Are you listening? Go outside, meet people, get a life, and stop calling me.
What did you say? Listen, the police can trace this call. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid crank. It happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Okay, look, Aiden. God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Oh, Every this time you try, you just make things worse. Oh, no. It is not for you. Better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. He's still gonna find that guy. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. All right, I gotta steal this car, whoever you are. Come on, let's get going. I'm afraid of this. Threats to my family. Ken. Oh, fuck. No. Oh my god, he just ran into me. Yeah. I'm sorry, I overreacted. You just make me so crazy sometimes. Uh huh. Come on back, okay? I promise I won't freak out on you. Uh. Aiden? <sighs> You're going after that creep, aren't you? Well. You're doing it right now. I can't believe you! It's not like that. Stop being a hero, Aiden. Let it go! Let what? Yeah, the call's breaking up. I can't hear you. No, you can hear me perfectly. You need to stop right now. Yeah, hello? You still there? Can't hear you. Okay, gotta go. Oh! All right, God, you bitch. Want to match my sister? Yeah, get that. So we have a deal? Shit, yeah, I can't believe you're paying me that much just to make a crank call. Nikki Pierce, right? I'll mention the locks like you said. And her kid. I, I, this feels wrong. That's the point. Someone paid this asshole to harass Nikki. Who would pay for something like that? Motherfucker. Hey, did you get anywhere with DeadSec? Any of those CTOS hacks? Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait. What am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. But that's as far as I can see. Okay. If I can hack CTOS inside the Loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the Loop. It's perfect. DeadSec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. Yeah, right, right. It's all about you. Look. 
Bloom hires private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready. Alright, so I'm gonna end this video of my act one here. Do hit the thumbs up, put it under your favorites, share it with your friends, and subscribe to me. Here. So I'm gonna end this video here and do join me in my next video of the next act. So yeah, keep tuning in. Peace over and out.